I guess if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that we need to be <laughs> ready for anything. No kidding. Not that you needed to tell that to the folks at CSU. As Denver 7's Jason Grenauer reports tonight, they have spent the last half century preparing for the worst case scenario. This is the National Laboratory for Genetic Resources Preservation. A long name on an unassuming building on the CSU campus. But it's essentially the seed bank for U.S. agriculture and the world. Housing a fortune of a different kind of currency. I can confidently say that this building holds the largest seed collection in the world. Over a million samples in a zero degree freezer. These are seeds that are mainly used by humans. So they're the, the foods we eat, they're cotton, what we wear for uh, clothing. To keep them safe. Preserve the genetic diversity that is necessary for agriculture. Just in case. Well, agriculture is always facing some kind of a plague or some kind of a problem. Hence the liquid nitrogen. Right now this tank is about uh, minus 188 degrees. For certain seed samples. The oldest seeds that I know of are cotton from the 1930s. And it's not just deposited in and left to sit. These samples are constantly checked and monitored. We want what's going in to be very healthy and we want them to stay healthy. The National Reserve of sorts for seeds, making this Colorado's own Fort Knox. Something that I think we're really very proud of, that we're doing something that benefits everybody. In Fort Collins, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.